what's going on guys, Sudex here, and today I'm back with another tutorial. After receiving tons of requests on making popular effects too, I finally decided making another one. I want to thank all of you for supporting the first one, because the support on that is truly amazing. Go like, and I want to thank all of you that watched it and liked it. So, without further on, let's begin. The first effect that I'm going to show you guys is this one. Yeah, I'm picking purple color, so it's pretty straightforward. What you gotta do is search S Duotone and uh, drag the preset one. Then you gotta copy like my settings or like whatever settings you want. And uh, this is how it's going to look like normally. What I would strongly recommend you doing is searching on Google complementary colors, so it makes everything look so much nicer. When the colors complement each other, so what I would usually do is like put the mix with source around uh, 760, 740, something like that. Click the animate button, go around the end, and then put it all the way to a thousand, so it fades. Out. And you can also right click on this first keyframe, add a smooth fade, and this should look like the preview that I showed you at the beginning. You can obviously mess around with how much color you want to show and stuff, it's all personal preference. I'm just showing the effect itself and how to use it. The next effect I'm going to show you is this one. <laughs> And basically what that is, is like multiple frames at once, like a bit laggy, it makes the whole vibe like look really nice. And how you actually make that is you search uh, on your effects bar, basically temporal blur, you drag the default preset, put this at zero, you animate it, go like a couple frames in, put it at uh, 1.7 frames. And also what you have to add to make that laggy effect, so it frame drops a bit, is add BCC posterize time. So you drag the preset one. And then you guys can copy my settings. I'm going to animate this as well and put a like 2. And this should give the same exact effect as shown on my edit. That's the same exact as I guys showed you earlier. It gives like that lagginess, like, like multiple frames at once. It looks really nice. And so let's move to the next effect. For the next effect, I'm going to show you guys is. It's called S Tritone. So what you're gonna do is like add the default one once again, like where you want it. Uh, put my preset, like you can change the colors, you can mess around with the settings. But I personally prefer like this whole color theme, like the orange because it matches with the song and stuff. So what you gotta do is like animate mix with source once again and go around like uh, the middle and put this to a thousand. And also add like a smooth fade, so it fades out like really nicely, it makes that nice curve. But you can like mess around with other curves, like whatever fits your edit. And let's see. It's basically pretty self-explanatory, just add that whole orange and yeah. Alright, the next effect is going to be this one. So what you're gonna need for this one is a plugin called Universe, you can find it on YouTube. But I will try to leave a link in the description down below, so make sure to check. So what you gotta do is add the default one for you, I have a preset for what I want. And basically, you guys can copy my settings here. You guys can pause the video and copy the settings. So what you gotta do is like animate blend with original. I'm going to put this on max at the beginning. Around like uh, here. When the velocity is like really fast and you're going to do like a transition, you add it to about 80. You can also change the whole grain how and how it looks from this. The tape noise type you can obviously mess around with more settings. This one is pretty cool. I'll keep this one. And at the beginning where the guy suits, you need to go a couple frames back, animate again, and put this to 100. You can add some fades, so it looks pretty nice. And let's see how that looks. As you guys can see, it looks really nice in my opinion. You can mess around with uh, how much you want and stuff. And on top of that, we're also going to add S stretch frame edges. Which what that does is like, it's pretty self-explanatory. It just stretches the frame, like the sides or whatever you set the preset to. So what you're going to do is add the preset one. You can copy my settings. You're going to animate border width. You're going to go like around the same frames as the, all the other effects. I'm going to put this around here. It looks pretty nice in my opinion. Going to like a nice fast fade. What you also want to do is like go a couple frames back before the shot. Make another keyframe. Go to the end. Put this to zero. Put the nice fast fade. And let's see how this looks. In my opinion it looks like really nice. It's like a VHS tape. Like comes in. Like stretches everything. It looks really nice. 
it's like you mostly want to use it for like a speed part like I've done here on a square wipe so yeah all right the next effect is going to be this one it's not like an effect, it's more like of a transition on how to transition like two clips or like a clip and a cinematic or whatever you want transition, it's literally up to you. What you want to do is like search on your plugins tab, S blur more curves, going to add the preset one and what you want to do is like go a couple frames back, like I usually go like a five frames back before the clip ends. I like to animate Z distance, go like a couple frames in and you want to zoom in, so around here. You guys can see uh, all this blur, you can lower it or hire it by changing this setting, shutter duration. You guys can see like there is no blur right now, but if you like mess around with the settings, that's blur. I usually leave it uh, how it is, where you can mess around. So what you wanna do is like animate this, put a fast fade, and also on the next clip, you're going to, since it's going in, what you wanna do is like go make it go out. You also have to change this wrap X and wrap Y settings to reflect because on default it's no. You're going to have these black bars which look down. I don't like them. Don't use them please. Tile. I don't know about tile. It just looks weird. Not my thing. But you guys can use it if you want to. So I use reflect. What you wanna do is like put this around 1.5 thousand. Animate it. Go like a couple frames in. Push the 1000. And put a fast fade and it's going to make the same effect, let's see. So on this one I think it needs a bit more zoom in, because it doesn't zoom in it fast enough. And also I forgot to change the blur. So let's see now. Looks pretty nice in my opinion. You can obviously like mess around with the face with like a smooth fade, linear fade, whatever fade you want. Alright, this is how you transition to clips. Now if you want to transition a clip and a cinematic, the default one like before go a couple frames back animated C distance and what you want to do is to go a couple frames in put it out make like that so it goes so it's at the end you can add a smooth fade then what you want to do is go on the clip since it goes out technically on the clip it should come from in so it has some nice flow going to add a bit of rotation to match the camera movement from the cinematic so you're going to go a couple frames in Animate both, one, zero. Going to put this one to fast and the rotation to smooth. So let's see how it looks. As we can see, it like transitions pretty nicely. I would like zoom in a bit more and rotate it a bit more as well. So it actually transitions even better. And let's see. And this is how you're going to transition a clip and a cinematic. As you can see, it's like really nice, it goes up. So, the next effect I'm going to show you guys is this one. It's like the white dust that goes all around the clip. So, what you want to do is like set S film damage on your video effects tab, drag the preset one. What you want to do is copy my settings, put everything to zero except dust and stain density and uh, what you're gonna do is like click on dust details make it white or whatever color you want and what you wanna do afterwards is uh, animate it so put it at zero go a couple frames in put it at 30 go at the end make another keyframe go at the really end again animate to zero you can make a fast fade and a slow fade and let's see how this looks As you guys can see, it's like this white dust goes all around the edit. It looks really nice. From what I've showed you guys earlier, you can also add all the other effects. So it looks way nicer. Let's see how that looks with everything on. It's like a really nice variety of effects. It's like not simple, it looks like really complex. And yeah, this is going to wrap it up for the popular effects number two. If you want to see a third part, Make sure to leave a like, uh, subscribe and comment. If we hit 400 likes, I'm going to make a new one with way more effects and stuff. Maybe how to sink in depth. But make sure to leave some suggestions down below. And remember to use code SDX in the Fortnite app. Couple hundred miles out if I hear the text, mm, no, you're probably...